Valley Village a little while ago. This is probably sometime last year. And uh, I was just looking at games like I usually do in their little section with all the games in it. And I stumbled across this. This is Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse uh, for the Sega Mega Drive. Let's see if I can get that on the camera. This is actually a European PAL game for, of course, the Mega Drive. Uh, and I picked it up at the time, not really sure uh, if it was going to work in my Sega Genesis or not. Um, it was only like three or four bucks. Uh, so I picked it up and uh, brought it home. And uh, lo and behold, uh, it does work in all of my Sega Genesis systems that I have. Um, so basically what, what it is, is it's, it's an older game, and the older Sega games don't have any, any region coding in them. Uh, you know, it doesn't block PAL Mega Drive games from running on a NTSC Genesis, and vice versa. Um, Sega was known for not having any form of region lockouts. If you go back to the Sega Master System, uh, you can play the you know, the PAL Master System games on an American system. Uh, it wasn't until, I would say probably sometime around 92, 93, maybe 94, that most of the games started implementing, you know, like a region lockout, uh, where if you got, you know, like a later Genesis game for the Mega Drive, PAL Mega Drive, and you put that in your Genesis, it's not going to work. It's not going to let you play it. Uh, but like I said, this is an older game. This is, you know, one of the earlier Mega Drive slash Genesis games. And this works works great in all my uh, Sega Genesis systems, so let's check it out, shall we? Uh, so here's the Sega logo. Uh, this game's actually developed by Sega. Um, I think back then Sega and Disney had like a little bit of a contract where Sega could, you know, produce all their own Disney games. Um, there was a lot of Disney games on the Sega Master System and uh, the Game Gear and early on in the Genesis and they were all pretty decent games. So as you can see here this one starts off with a storyline yada 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 typical typical storyline here Minnie gets kidnapped by the evil witch and uh, you gotta rescue her. <laughs> no we never heard that one before. Uh, the graphics are pretty decent, and uh, the music's it's all it's all right. Um, you know, keeping in mind this is a really early Genesis game. This game came out in 1990, so you know this this predates Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> These Disney games were were pretty popular on the Genesis before, you know, they had their their big mascot, right? A little more storyline, you kind of, uh, you find this castle here, and you go into the castle, and there's kind of like, um, I think it's seven levels in this game, and there's seven doors in the castle, kind of each area is, you know, you know, a different, um, different level layout altogether, like, you know, the first level is going to be like in the forest, the second level is going to be like a big toy store, or, you know, giant toy soldiers and stuff. So you got the seven rooms in the castle that are your seven different levels. And um, each level's got a boss at the end of it. Beat the boss, you get a gem, you want to get the seven gems and then you can, you know, fight the end boss, which is the witch that kidnapped Minnie, you know, saved Minnie. Uh, your main weapons are using your ass, basically bomb everything, you know, jump on everything, but you gotta you can just do a straight up jump and if you just jump on a character you'll get hurt. You have to you have to have your ass down. <laughs> uh, you can also throw items. Uh, the items change per level once again as the kind of theme of the level changes. Uh, so in the first level here, uh, we're out in the forest with a lot of trees and you get apples. And apples are your, your item in the first level so you can collect the apples and you can throw them at enemies. There you can see some apples there. 
and that's how you throw them. So there you go, you can throw them at enemies, or once again, just bomb dive them. Um, that's your two main attacks, and that's really your, your two only buttons in this game. You don't use the three buttons of the Genesis. You got basically just your jump and your uh, your throwing item. So it's, it's pretty simple in that way. And um, the game does start off pretty easily, and, and you might think, oh, this is just a kid's game. But um, it does get it does get progressively harder. And, you know, even just by the third level, it's it's not really that easy anymore. Um, so it is a challenging game. You know, it's not like you know, a five-year-old could go through it or something. Um, like I said, there was a lot of Disney games on the Sega systems back then. Um, Sega had a contract to make all the Disney games. And, uh, you know, they were pretty popular on the Mega Drive. You know, there was a lot of Disney games, you know, Mickey Mouse games and stuff like that. Uh, on the Mega Drive, or on the, on the Sega Master System, sorry. And on the Mega Drive, you know, there was, you know, Donald Duck and... Mickey Mouse games. This game in particular, um, Castle of Illusion, was also available on the Sega uh, Game Gear and the Master System. You know, of course, the Master System and the Game Gear are virtually the same system, so those two games, I would imagine, are, are pretty much identical. Um, from the Genesis Mega Drive version, there's a few differences, a few level changes. Uh, but for the most part, it's basically the same game on the Genesis and the Master System. So here's the first boss. And, um, you can either throw your apples at him or jump on him. I, I think it actually hurts him more when you jump on him. It seemed like it took less hits to kill him this time when I was jumping on him. The first time I was just throwing apples on him. And it seemed like it took a lot more hits to kill him, so jump on And there you go, there's the first gem. So like I said, there's seven levels, seven gems, and then and then your last battle, last level. So there's the one room beat, and now we're moving on to the next the next level. And this, this level here's got a whole new theme to it. There's the exit, but it's blocked. We gotta get a key. The key's at the very top of the level, and then you gotta come back down and, and go through the exit. So this game's it's pretty fun, and you know, I picked it up. Honestly, I picked it up just because it was a Mega Drive game. And I've never actually seen a Mega Drive game before. I live in Canada, as most of you know. And, um, you know, it's the first time I had ever seen a Mega Drive game. And I don't think I've seen one since then. As if I had, I probably would have picked it up. Just based on the fact that it's a Mega Drive game alone. And, and to me, that's pretty rare. And it was pretty cool just to have a Mega Drive game. And I thought, well, oh, geez, it's like a Mickey Mouse game. It's gonna be a stupid kids game. Um... You know, and I didn't really, I didn't really pick it up because it was Mickey Mouse Castle of Illusion. I, I picked it up because it was a Mega Drive game. Uh, but then I started playing it, and you know, it was pretty fun. You know, it's, it's not a bad game at all. You know, you can certainly play it and have some fun with it. This level is kind of cool. There's these like uh, little switch blocks that you get, and it flips the level upside down. And then eventually you'll find another one. And you can flip it back. That's kind of neat. But of course, I'm running out of time, guys. So there it is.